Well, we uh, finally got an update recently to our 2014 Tesla Model S85 with Autopilot 1. Um, I figured, why not make a video about it? There isn't really much of an update um, or, you know, there isn't really much to it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's been very interesting. I've actually had to um, kind of toggle the standard up um, software update preference and the advanced. So every now and then when I haven't received an update in a long time, if I'm on advanced, I'll switch to standard. And then like within like a few hours, I get an update. I don't know if it's coincidence or that's just how they designed it. But it's uh, very interesting. So if you have, um, you know, a Model S or I think this feature is also in the Model 3 and Model Y now. Um, you know, if you haven't received an update in a while, try switching the these two. Uh, switching the settings for the software up, update preference and see what happens. Um, I also recently, um, not recently, maybe three or four months ago, I added a... a um, a Wi-Fi extender in my garage. I just put it in the garage so that at least I got full bars when I'm connected to it. And um, that's also been helping. So just a few tips for you guys that want to get your updates. But as you can see here, I'm on update um, version 10.2, And uh, yesterday I was on 2020.8.1. Uh, so as you can see here, the release notes is pretty boring. It's nothing crazy here. It says Bluetooth improvement. The last update said the same thing. I'm guessing that there's some improvements in the autopilot. That's probably what it is because they, I believe they don't really um, advertise that. But uh, generally, when there's like a um, you know point one point two update, I think we get some improvements in the autopilot. Uh, but yeah, besides that is um, you know Bluetooth improvement, um, basically to improve the audio uh, transition from the phone to car i'm not going to demonstrate that because i'm recording with my phone uh, but basically uh it just allows you to be able to sit in your seat and then the uh, when you sit that's when the bluetooth will actually connect your phone uh to your phone versus before when you're outside of the car sometimes it'll connect and it'll be annoying and then there's the improvement to the voice command reliability um again i'm not going to go over anything here uh, there's nothing really special that uh came about uh, as you can see, version 10 settings are all the same. There's nothing to, um, I don't think I've seen anything new here. Yeah, I'll just go through it real fast. Uh, as you can see here, for those that are interested, 2014 Tesla Model S um, 85 with Autopilot 1. I think the Autopilot is still great. I love driving this car every day. Um, I think our next car is probably going to be a Model Y. Uh, more than likely to replace my wife's uh, Mazda CX-5, but we'll wait until the CX-5 actually needs to be replaced because it's a brand new, it's a new one, it's a 2019. Um, but, you know, realistically at this point, this if you're looking to buy a Tesla and you find one with Autopilot 1, don't shy away from it. You still get a lot of the features, lane departure, warning, Ford collision, um, obstacle aware acceleration, emergency auto automatic uh emergency braking all that stuff is still there and, and you still get autopilot um so i even got the bait the summon the general summon where i can uh move it in and out of the garage not the um what's the advanced summon called um the one that allows you to come to me like you can stand in a in a parking lot I, we, this car doesn't have it but it's not needed uh yeah so i don't think there's anything new here um, I'm currently at 65%, just for those that are interested. I'm currently at 65% state of charge. I like to use a percentage because, you know, you, you get more miles out of the car if you drive slow. You get more miles, less miles out of it if you drive fast. I'd rather just know the percentage, and I know that when I'm at 20%, I need to charge versus trying to figure out mileage and stuff. So, But for those that are interested, at 63% state of charge, excuse me. When I toggle the distance with rated on, not ideal, but rated, I am currently at 154 miles. And then if I do ideal, which is like if the world was perfect, you'll never get that. I have I can get 178 miles. 
uh, with the current situation of the world, it's really nice to just have an electric car because I don't have to go to the gasoline station and pump gas. I just come in, plug in, and I'm able to charge my car and then be ready to go. I now nowadays I keep it um, at a higher state of charge just in case something else happens and we need to drive someplace f you know further than we needed to. Um, normally I'll keep it at like 50% state of charge on my for my day to day and I I, I can pick up my son and do all kinds of stuff so anyway that's just a little extra that i want to share with you i'm currently at 89,677 miles my warranty actually will expire once i hit 91,000 miles uh, so i've been not driving as much but hey i or i did a cross-country trip in it um less than a, about a month ago uh 6, plus miles and no issues at all so as you can see here nothing special I have the older uh, Model S, so I do get the premium connectivity, but it is 3G as you can see there. And so hopefully 3G is still going to be around for a little bit longer when it isn't. Maybe they'll replace it for me for free, I don't know. Alright, that's all I got for you guys. There's nothing special here. Because uh, Model S is still going strong. Have a good day.